Paulo, a great job. You hold another team under 100 points. What was the mentality coming into this one tonight? Uh, you know, we played these guys a couple of days ago, and uh, they killed us in transition. You know, I think they're the number one transition team in the league. So we knew uh, coming into this game, we were going to lock in because they, they, they killed us on that side in the first game. So that was the main focus, just making them play in the half court. How about your team's defensive effort all year? As you gear up for the postseason run here, what are you guys seeing defensively with your group? Same thing it's been all year, you know. Didn't have J.I. tonight, so we had to step up as a group defensively, you know, and just make up for his absence, and I thought we did a good job. How about you, Paula? We know what you can do in the fourth quarter. We've seen you hit so many clutch shots. What's happening in the third quarter? You're taking over these basketball games now in the third. <laughs> I, would, I would blame it on not being as satisfied as I would like in the first half. I think I always, you know, if I, if I struggle in the first, or I'm not as playing as well as I want to in the first, then I'm going to make sure that third, I turn it on. How about your team right now, the way you're moving off the basketball? You had a lot of terrific back cuts tonight. What are you seeing about the way you're moving off the ball? Yeah, you know, we just playing together as a team, uh, especially on the offensive side, getting everybody involved. Um, you know, guys are feeling good right now. You know, everybody's touching it, everybody's moving, and uh, everybody's, you know, getting what they want. And, uh, you know, we just want to keep this momentum. How fun is this right now, Paul? It's fun, it's fun. You know, I think it's win number 40, so we're headed in the right direction. We just want to keep rolling. All right, last thing, your Duke Blue Devils got the fourth seed. They're going to play Vermont. Fourth seed. They're going to play, we're going to play Vermont in the first round. Give us a breakdown. Vermont's not going to be an easy game, so I hope they hope they're ready for it. Um, but, you know, hopefully this year we can make a run. You know, I'm excited. Go Blue Devils, baby. All right, good luck. Franz Wagner, kind enough to join us. And, Franz, congrats on the victory here tonight. What a perfect way to start this eight-game homestand. What was the mentality going into this? I, I know you wanted to start with the win here tonight. For sure, especially having them just play. So, um, you know, we kind of took a playoff approach or what we know uh, that to be and um, you know try to improve on what we did last last game not so well and um, that was mainly transition keeping it on a transition I think we did a way better job in that second half um, I think that was a huge part of our win tonight you mentioned the physicality Franz in playoff basketball are you seeing a ton of that here you you got 14 games remaining there's not a lot of fouls being called this is getting pretty pretty physical here the last few weeks yeah I think it is I think uh, it's not just our games though so right. um, you know I heard the broadcast the other the other night they were talking about it as well and um, um, I think it's just on us players to adjust to that and I think uh, most of the players I think honestly like it a little bit more than most teams um, but obviously it takes a little bit of time to get adjusted are you guys aware of how rare it is to be in town at home for a month straight? Y'all are about to be home for a full calendar muster. I've played in the league 13 years, and I've never seen or heard anything like that. No, for sure. Um, I mean, yeah, you, you'll definitely take it, especially at this at this point of the season. Um, we need every game that we can get, and um, obviously we, we like playing at home um, a little bit more. So um, I think we're all really excited for it, but we, we got to stay focused and uh, make sure we, we have a good home stretch here. Take us through your performance tonight. You had 19 against Toronto on Friday, 22 here tonight. Everybody knows you're trying to get to the rim, and you still, Franz, get to the rim continuously. How, how are you able to do it, and how are you seeing defenses try to adjust to it? Yeah, obviously they do different stuff in a pick and roll or, um, you know, on my drives. Um, I think I think I still got to get better at reading, reading the help defense a little bit, making making decisions from there. But um, I think with my size and the way we play, I think, uh, yeah, getting to the paint isn't isn't the huge thing. I think just after that, um, what decisions I make, I still got to get get a little better at that. Do, does Mo have this same energy around the house and off the court? Because I, it, it seems like he never calms down. Like, do you, I know you the little brother. Do you ever find yourself just like, bro, just chill a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> I think it depends on the day, but there's definitely days where uh, when he brings the same energy. And I think that's just his, his normal character, I would say. But um, there's definitely moments where, you know, I, I kind of notice he needs to offset that a little bit. And he, he's super chill at uh, times as well. Well, how happy are you and how proud are you of Mo? We know he's got energy. We know he always brings it, but he's been so productive the last few years as well. We've seen a ton of growth in his game on the floor also. I'm super happy for him. Um, I think it shows a lot of uh, character um, to look at his career, how it went so far, and um, you know, the, the role that he's carved out for himself in, in this league. So uh, super proud for him uh, of that, obviously, as a, as a younger brother and continues to be a role model for me.
Franz, your first year in the league, 22 wins, right? You're, you're trying to grind it out, learn how this league works. Last year, you take a huge jump, 34. You're sitting at 40 with 14 games remaining. How, how much fun is this right now, what you guys are accomplishing? It's super fun. I think it's. I think the coolest part is that, you know, the majority of guys that, that are on the team now um, went through that same stretch, and um, I think it's cool that, that we were able to grow together as a group. And um, like I said, these, these, are, these are the most important games now of the season, so we got to make sure we stay focused. Hey, who sings the song, the theme song, the best in the locker room? I need to know because I know it's a catchy song. I don't know if y'all know the whole league is catching wind up, but y'all got a fire theme song. Yeah, we, we got to keep winning. I, I'd say everything music, I'll go with Chuma. Um, okay, you know, Chuma. I think that's a pretty easy one, yeah. All right, because we've heard them all. We've heard Jalen. Yeah. Jalen sings it. Cole sings yeah. it. Hey, whatever you have to do, keep winning. The song is great, but the wins are awesome. Keep it exactly, going. Exactly, exactly. Thank yep. you, guys. Terrific points last time we played them. Uh, to hold them to, you know, 16 tonight, I think is something that, you know, we made a point of emphasis, and the guys did a great job of honing in on that. Did you make it that first half where maybe it felt like you guys were going through the motion a little bit and just, I don't know, I guess this, the first half really was kind of back and forth until the third I mean, it's, it's one of those games. It's tough to, you know, play a team twice. Um, and they, they did a very good job of making some adjustments. They mixed it up, playing some zone, threw some different things out there. Uh, but again, you give our guys credit for staying the course. You know, every game is not going to be, you know, high flying, going, getting up and down. You know, our guys are finding ways to win. And I think that's important in this league that even when the games aren't pretty, you find a way to win point the last three games team really took control in the third quarter kind of right mm -hmm. out of, right out of the locker room what, what does that say about this team's development and growth to, to come out of the locker room you know apply whatever adjustments were made and, and put their put their foot down a little bit in, in, in the start of these games it's what we've continued to ask them to do and what they're taking responsibility and ownership of doing uh, coming out of the locker room the right way uh, making sure we're doing it on the defensive end first and then continuing to share and move the basketball our coaches are doing a great job of at halftime seeing the adjustments understanding what we can do better uh, we've got a a bunch of open looks tonight that did not fall uh, but those are the looks you want to get and our guys are continuing to trust the past and trust each other the start the starting group uh, has played together now for, for for a little while what what are you seeing from that that group and, and how much how much comfort is there in, in in that group to work to work well together there's a continuity and a chemistry that they, they continue to build um, understanding when you know Paulo's getting double teamed the, the matchups that Franz may see Jalen doing a great job on the ball picking up and then just stepping into his shots with confidence you know Gary had a ton of open looks tonight uh, and then he's going to continue to work to be able to knock those things down but there's just a chemistry and a flow to that group uh, that we're just that continues to build in just over 20 minutes tonight you know Jalen didn't really fill up the box score with 10 points but just his impact was felt all evening night you just talked about it with him picking up full court just mm -hmm. can you talk about the impact he has in the game even when it doesn't show up on the box score and he does that for a ton his his level of energy his, his ability to pick the basketball up uh, change defenders minds about where they're going on the floor his disruption his toughness his physicality uh, I think he just continues to do that for us uh, you know the fact that he was able to you know knock shots down as well uh, to be able to space the floor I think that that's a, a continued added bonus Coach, what do you think about Paulo's performance tonight obviously struggled a little bit on Friday against Toronto so how do you feel like he came out tonight and really took the game in his in his own bag I think that's the mark of a great player you know, you understand what, what the, how a team's playing you uh, in one situation, and you don't come back out and force it. I thought he did a great job of letting the game come to him. He was able to get downhill, find the right thing, find the right things in the game, uh, make the right pass. Uh, he found his teammates a ton, and I just think his ability to be aggressive uh, the right way is exactly what we're asking of him to do.